Marianne, what is your favorite type of cornbread? See, I like the southern cornbread. Even though I'm a northerner, I don't do northern cornbread. You don't put sugar in it. Okay, what is your favorite type of cornbread? Jalapeno cheddar with, like, extra cheddar for sure. You are Ooh. James kind of girl. Sounds <laughs> yummy. <laughs> Mexican cornbread. That's probably one of my top, like, three favorites when it comes to cornbread. I'm uh, Virgil Holder. I am the mayor of the city of South Pittsburgh, Tennessee. Number one cornbread festival in the nation. So our town is uh, alive and perky right now, but normally we're a sm small, sleepy village that uh, kind of enjoy ourselves. Oh, I know, it, it's, yeah. it's loaded, setting up. Yeah. It's gonna be a pretty weekend. I never have uh, run across where Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania was, uh, was associated with us other than the spelling. And uh, of course, uh, we, we've dropped the H. <laughs> or the founding fathers dropped the H, not us. My name is Carolyn Kellerman Milheiser. I was born in South Pittsburgh, grew up here, moved away for 40 years and moved back. South Pittsburgh is a small southern town where everybody knows everybody else. And if you get in trouble, your mother knows about it before you get home. After the Civil War, a group of British investors decided they wanted to develop an iron ore in the south. So they sent a man over to explore and he came into the Sequatchie Valley and discovered there was iron ore here and coal, and so he decided this would be a place to build a company town. So they bought 3,000 acres and developed South Pittsburgh, hoping it would be the Pittsburgh of the South. In the north end of town, they built blast furnaces, and it went along fine till about 1896 when the iron ore petered out, and they discovered there was a better grade of iron ore down in Birmingham and Sheffield, Alabama, so they closed the blast furnaces and moved out. At that time, there were people that were living here that had been here for 20 years and they didn't want to move away, one of whom was Joseph Lodge and started what is today Lodge Manufacturing, which is still in business 120 years later, the biggest employer in the city. My great-grandfather was Joseph Lodge. What has Lodge meant? Well, it's been a steady employer. Uh, we've gone through hard times together. There was a time during the 30s when they couldn't sell skillets, but they could make and sell doorstops and garden ornaments. But we've all stuck together and we have third and fourth generation employees working in the plant. We're proud of South Pittsburgh, Tennessee. This cornbread's for it's for the festival, obviously. Hmm. This is my my helper, and I'm her helper. We're all helping. You want to help? The Parmesan chive is wonderful. <laughs> Only been here an hour and a half. Just even getting started. There are crews that come until four in the afternoon, and we do it all again tomorrow. You laughing at me, Mama? We're from South Pittsburgh. We wanted to be like you guys. Didn't quite work out because the railroad didn't turn out here. That was the key. A sweet Georgia peach cornbread it has cornbread, peaches, all the good yummy stuff, and then we sprinkle it with a little cinnamon sugar on top. No secrets, but I love <laughs> just just I love. Just working away in the kitchen. Everybody knows the hens do all the work all the time. They do all the nitpicking too. <laughs> <laughs> Good 
morning, good morning. Thank you very much. Maple bacon. Breakfast and our cornbread. When I say I'm South Pittsburgh, they think I'm talking about Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. But we're the South. You can tell that, can't you? And we would not mind being listed as a sister small city of Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. But uh, we are proud to be our small little town. Come to Cornbread Alley and get your yeah. bread. We got maple bacon cornbread, that's for sure. And move on down and get you some hush puppies. <laughs> Good stuff. Thank you.